Thank you, Shiva. Yes, game three now coming up with No Pangolier versus Virtus Pro. And again, we're seeing some different approaches this time around. No Pangolier taking a bit of a page out of Virtus Pro's book. They've got themselves the Dazzle, the Terror Blade this time. And on the side of Virtus Pro, they got a lot of one with combo, a lot of team fight. They've got this Enigma, they've got this Faceless Void, Invoker. There's a lot of things that this Terror Blade's going to have to be a little careful about in the team fights, and I don't think it's going to be quite as easy of a road to victory for a Terror Blade as it was for Game 2 Ramsey's TB. It does seem like VP's picks has almost, in a way, put No Pango's lineup on a timer, right? You look at that and you're like, oh my god, if they're not either ending the game by 30 minutes or having a 20k gold lead, you see a Void, an Invoker, an Enigma. This is such overbearing team fight. And I think VP recognized, like, hmm, no, Pango does like to take these games to the later stage. Looking at all their games, they average like a 50-something minute or whatever across their wins. That's not Look right. at the approach they've taken. And how do you feel, Owen, as the, uh, the Void expert? How's, uh, it, how's it looking? It's, it's how's it certainly looking? a good point. The one thing that they will have to be careful about, I think, you know, before you get your BKB, ET can be kind of nice against the Void. You know, you don't catch the ET in the Chrono, he's going to be able to throw a Spirit in, go for a Stomp. Very, it makes it very hard for you to sort of sit on a target in the Chronosphere before you get the BKB online, but... That is their only control, though. It really is just that. They're going to have Visage Familiars, yeah. but their only real control is an Elder Titan in this game. Yep. So other than that, now you should expect to see this Void be able to hop and bop all around the place. And of course, you've got that classic Void versus Weaver down the line, which is going to make the game very hard for the Weaver to play. Dazzle's going to be pretty... You know, easy target as well if you want to go straight for the back lines with the Chronosphere. Mm -hmm. And it can be nice against the Terra Blade. You've got, you've got that magical bash damage. It's probably going to take the bash damage talent this game. Yep, definitely possible. I think the, the the one thing I'm looking at, though, from No Pangos, they do have saves, in particular, inside of that Chronosphere. They, they're eventually, it's an offlane Weaver, eventually gonna we're going to see him get the Agony. For sure. Exactly. Absolutely. And they're going to have the Grave, too. So there can be some possibilities for those big plays coming out. I just, I really do feel like they have to come out and just have a very, very commanding start in this game. And they have a Visage in the mid lane versus an Invoker. So the Invoker is going to have a very, very good time in there. But we did see the Visage the other day beat a Morphling in the lane. Or come out like a little bit ahead of over a Morphling in the lane, which was pretty spectacular. He did have Drow Warrior, though. As they are committing a full tri-lane up top, it seems, with their Terror Blade. At least for now, to put pressure onto the Void. They are trying to avoid having their Terra Blade get slowed down by that Enigma and Tiny, all that pressure that can come out that we've seen Pasha and Roger do a couple times already in this tournament. Yeah, but I think it's really, as you say, drawing onto this mid lane, it's, it's going to be the big the big one to watch because I, I really feel that so far this series, Sailor's been struggling in a lot of the lanes and the matchups that he's been given. And this, as you say, is a matchup that already the first few levels could be a little tricky for the Visage, so... And he already, no one getting the first hit. The Grave Chill was first used, and yep. he gets the last hit already on the range group. So he's going to be harassing a bit here. I think yeah. it, this is going to be a lane where we're going to really see a struggle for no Pango lane. Totally agree. At this lane, no one Invoker against Sailor Visage. It shouldn't be close. Mm -hmm. No one should uh, make things look kind of... Kind of bad here for, for no Pango in the middle. He gets lane. another last yeah. hit during the Grave Chill. Oh man, yeah, this matchup is I've already super one sided. So let's, let's, let's not. Let's I not think be it, too it, it really is a combination of the matchup and the players. As I yeah. said, it's just been having some, some rough games in the lanes today. Yeah. So bottom, they're having. Yeah, they, they rotated themselves too. They're putting the uh, Void down bottom with the Bane. He doesn't want to be playing versus that pressure that come, can come out from an Elder Titan. We know. We've seen especially what Zayats can do when he knows how to play these heroes. This is one of his specialties too. He loves to abuse that Elder Titan spirit, get that damage stacked up. I've actually seen him go for like the early levels of the aura too to punch if it is an Agi hero in the lane. This time he might not though since he's versus an Enigma. And this top lane. As you say, we're definitely chance for, for some action between the two. We'll, we'll see as well if, if either side do choose to move their support Maybe it's looking towards the mid lane to, to set up a kill for one another. As both you know, Tiny and Elder Titan down the road do have potential to find those sort of setups mid. Once, they're si once the 6 comes out. It's like ganking for a Visage pre-6 is sure, yeah, just but, not... Yeah, the Visage isn't yeah. going to be able to offer anything, really. Unless no one over like commits very, very far forward and he gets caught like up on a high ground or something. And I hear, I, I'm not seeing the spam, but I'm hearing the spam coming out from, <laughs> from VP, all using their hero lines, of course. As you say, if, it, if they do not make those rotations as, as they may not want to, as the kill potential is 
very hard for, for no pangolin in that mid lane. It, it really is going to be a lane where we're just going to see that Visage suffer so much against no one's invoker. He, he's going to get decimated. He yeah, really is. It's, it's not. No, it's not. It's not going to be close at no, all. It's not in that mid lane. And he can actually get setups for kills all around the map too. In this game, he's gone for the Exort, so the, and they do have ways to set it up, right? They have the Bane, which is excellent, especially once you get your Fiends group online. But even in laning phase, they do have the Tiny Stun, and they have this Malefist too. They're a little bit harder to set up for, but with that sleep, they can try to set up to even boost this in Invoker, who's going to have an excellent time even more. And Solo is spotted, making the rotation into the mid lane, as no one has a great position of the lane right now. And this Visage really has to be careful to not get caught by this by this Bane rotation coming in. There's going to be the Sleep. Not going to really get a kill out of it, but it's an Arcane Rune, so Solo is like, at ah, maximum efficiency, and no one's going to get all these last hits and denies under this, and this laning phase already is looking... Yeah, this Ooh. is going to be easily a, a full level between these two pretty soon. Yeah. And then, like, he can get kill after kill after kill because Visage's power is you hit six and then you can force people out of the lane. But if you're at that much of a discrepancy, you're not going to be able to do that. On all three lanes, as we can see, Versus yeah. Pro finding no trouble in getting the farm on their cores. Whereas on the side of No Pango, it's certainly looking a bit rougher. You know, we heard it from some of the panels saying this was. Pretty much the, the sort of toughest draft to pull off that No Pangolier have, have come into the game with in this series. Just uh, so far, we're, we're certainly seeing that. Yeah, it's yeah, it's going to be really hard. They have a much harder to execute draft as well. You look at VPs, they've got this overbearing, crazy amount of team fight too once they start to get their levels online, and they're already having a great start in these first four minutes. As Roger is going to look to make a rotation, he's finding a haste rune top on the tiny. This is where we could see that dive on the mid lane for the Visage already. Oh, poor Instant Visage. Pinch. He's going in. There's the cold snap. Avalanche as well. Sailor will pop a fairy fire. Tries to run himself away with the grave chill, but will not escape. First blood for Roger. And in a lane where no one 25 and 12 last hits and denies compared to the 6 and 0 of Sailor. Pasha. Gonna eat some damage here. The bugs are not gonna connect. Zayat's not having boots yet either. He's kind of slow. Zayat's may, may die underneath his tower. Roger comes in with the avalanche. Pasha will fall to the spirit. Roger gets the return kill onto Zayat's. There will be an attempt with the Sunstroke. Won't be quite making the connection onto Ghostic. Bottom lane, Naive trying to punch into Solo and chase him down with a metamorphosis, but cannot die for the kill. Solo will be fine. Ramses quickly time walks off the heal bomb attempt from Slayer. This mid lane in this poker. mid matchup. No, I mean, oh no. It's 30 and 15 to 8. I mean, as I say, so maybe he's just having a rough day today, Cello. Because we have seen some fantastic stuff from No Pango the other days, but. And this is, it is a hard lane. This is a very hard lane. It's the it, impossible but, lane, even. Yeah, but as I say, this is, you know, we've seen this matchup not be this ridiculous in terms of Invoker getting ahead, but. He's got great, I mean, no one's had great control yeah. of the lane overall. Pasha does get hit by the stun here. The bugs are going to hit too. Roger is here, though. Yeah, they'll get the they passion get kill. Roger will try and Zayats in return. And Zayats will be fine. No Sunstrike attempt. Zayats will salve up. They can kill the bug really fast with the Eidolons there, but when they have the yeah. stun already coming out on top from that other Titan, the armor does tend to take forward. And yeah, it's mid lane, so no one. Level 7, Marcella has only just hit level 5. There's just such a massive damage difference oh now. It's boy. what, 67 and Volker has like 100. Creep. Like 100 when he full exhorts. Oh, oh. Over 100, oh. even 126 when he full exhorts. As he's committed 2, 1, and 4, just all the way forward. And he's got the Meteor invoked. He's ready to go for a kill here yeah. on mid. He's going to want to try for it by himself. Oh boy. He can do the cold snap, meteor, tornado kind of combo if he wants to set up. It's a lot of your mana pool though. On top lane, Roger. And he got up on here by Ghost Stick. Does get the toss back onto Zayat underneath the tower. We'll keep Roger safe. And mid lane. Don't find the kill and Sailor. All the self. It's going to be cancelled straight away. So it does save his life. But Sailor's going to have to make the walk probably back to base or at least to a shrine. That's 11 for 0. I don't really know how on earth they're going to get this Fishage into this game. They're gonna have to, I mean, this top lane, they're putting a decent amount of pressure, but it's the this Enigma lane, right? True, and as we're seeing, they're, they're, you know, they're only sort of just getting away with harassment. They're getting very low themselves. Zayas does manage Ooh. to get the stomp. 
He has got a TP, so will make it away from Roger. Mid lane, the wraparound, no. Just let him lane. Just leave him alone, VP. Stop bullying him. The sailor dies again. 46 and 24 on no one. 11 and 0 on this visage. I think we're already putting VP's name on the trophy. Yeah, this is this is definitely problematic. The Terror Blade, oh, at least is, he's getting some farm, but look at that difference. It is a... Uh, he's got more than double net worth at seven minutes. Oh, dear. A lot of pressure going to be put on Naive as well as Ghost Stick. Oh, dear, indeed. They had such a good show in game one and game two. On this game, they, you know, as you said, overall, the side lane condition is... It's okay. It's, it's, it's absolutely passable. Mm -hmm. But the mid lane, I think they, they, they won't want to talk about the mid lane, no Pangolier. As there really hasn't been one from their side. As and no one finds a regen rune on top of it all, too. He, so he committed his whole mana pool. And oh, they've even got a Chrono Sphere, too, with the Sun Strike combo. So they've got the kill threat whenever there is a Chrono available. Oh boy. No Pangolier. Mid lane. Doing the wrap around here onto Noah, but no one. Oh, he knows. Oh, oh no. My. A three man gank on mid. No one just throws the combo onto the high ground. And what a beautiful chat wheel for that one, too. Oh. Four. Absolutely perfect. Oh. Did he even have vision on the high ground? He did for a second. He from did the, for a second. The wrap around, yeah. But yeah. now, top. Another. They have another ulti available and mid, too. Oh, no. Not more kills for the invoker, please. No one. Oh. Is. He's got nearly kill him. There's a sentry. Oh, could no, Slayer can't do it on his own. He's trying. He really is. But now with the TP in, Slayer's got to be the one to run away. Nice uh, nightmare, which dodges his own team's toss damage. It's all and good. They get the kill at the end kill. of the day. Ghostix coming in to join the fray too, since he dies top. Bugs. Maybe it's to, to cause a bit of an issue here for Roger. Roger's level six and Ghostix level five. Oh, okay, probably not then. Oh, Sailor. He's got level six. Wait, no one's. What's no one doing? What'd you oh, mean? never mind. I think he was microing his force spirit. He just stood still oh, in yeah, the lane, yeah, walking back to trying base. Trying to get some denies, yeah. I think, with the spirit yep. and some CS as he as he does do. Oh, look at that! Look yeah. at the levels already Hits coming out. Level six on the visage, but yeah, no one is level nine. It's a 5k gold lead pre 10 minutes. They're gonna get yeah. Pasha here though, but bounty runes coming out. This is. I mean, no Pangolier. They have to get these bounties. At least one or two of them. Roger is already walking up toward that high ground, though. He will get pushed away from this one and from the other one. And so a two for two exchange. But Roger's top four net worth has a tiny. That first yeah, play we with saw, that we haste saw, Yeah, we saw what he was able to do last game when he sort of transitioned in this big old core. Just turn for a bit of a go. Is caught in place by the stomp from Zayat. But uh, Roger being as beefy as he is as the tiny. Having an Invoker who is level 10 also right next to him. Yeah, they can't actually go for commit that kill. Terrorblade is jungling as well as the Vistage is jungling. Two of their cores are jungling now. They actually can't show up in the lanes because there's always a Chronos and Black Holes available plus a Sunstrike. So there's always that solo kill threat. If you have two cores jungling in a game like this already, you're super worried. As a we do see the tomes now start coming to come out, starting to come out. So Bane will pick up that level six pretty much finished now with that fiend's grip. They can set up for kills and they don't need it. Poor old sailor. As again falls in the middle lane, Ghostic does come through with the TP, but not soon enough to help out his buddy on the visage. And this could be a Chrono Sunstrike play here if they want to try for it. Ramses. Oh. 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 Uh oh. <laughs> He, 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 I can't believe he actually held the, the Chrono there. But. I, I think he felt that he could get away with the kill without using the Chrono. Maybe. Because he does, uh, does manage to get both of them with the, um, the time lock. The top lane. They'll get themselves the kill on the Elder Titan Slayer. Oh, they might get solo here. Oh, solo. Sunstrike's going to be there to help him out as they turn, turn towards Naive. But indeed, solo will fall. Sailor, my boy, he gets a kill. Visage gets some well-needed money. He needs like seven more of those, maybe. He is 3,000 gold behind no one. Jeez. Look at no one's My APM God. as well. 679 APM. The highest APM I believe I've seen in Dota 2 in this tournament. 
We'll Isn't that 60 actions per second, 60. right, Owen? Is that what you said the other day? Uh, that, that's European <laughs> seconds. You know. so we, oh. use, we use a different metric. He gets one of the oh, bursts. He gets a familiar. That's, a, I mean, that's like 500 mana he just used to get a familiar. Actually, but it's 100 gold, bro. He wants it yeah, at this you point. You, you go for it. 6k gold lead, Pasha. Oh, top five heroes in net worth. Four of them are VPs. Yep. That ain't good. The boys on no Pangalier, I can tell you that. Down bottom. They're going to find Solo in again. In a good position to, to, to hit into him with a metamorphosis. Solo has a brain sap. Will be slowed down there by the poison touch, and Solo will fall. No he just wants to get to himself another kill. They got, them, they got the sentry down too. Oh, they get the ward. Ramsey's free tier one tower for himself. As he's got a lot of money. He's got 2.4k oh. gold. We'll see what he wants to do in the void this game. Could you know, see something a little fun. I hope we get some crazy builds from this boy. As top lane, they'll try with the... Oh! Gets very him. nicely lined up there by Zayats. Does indeed find Pasha. Void is hit. Ramsey's... Oh! oh. He's such high level exhort. him in. He's level and 12 indeed, already. The sun strikes there. No, I mean, you just, no one on his invoker. We've seen it so many times this tournament. And this game, he has just been given literally the easiest lane of his life. It, it, we, nothing was there to stop him. He he was he was playing against easy bots, it must have felt like to him. I mean, you know, as you say, it, it, Sailor was on a hard hero to play against an invoker. I mean, it is. But you, you got you to gotta have some balls to pick Visage against no one's invoker. Like, you, you're, gonna, you're in for a tough time. You sort of signed up for that from the draft. I mean, so they're going to keep finding Solo when he tries to get these wards down. Slayer's <laughs> been doing a good job of putting down all this vision so they can at least get these Bane kills. But it's just Bane kills. Yep. Oh, jeez. And they've got Chrono available. They've got Black Hole available on VP too. So they have to be careful on the side of No Pangolier. They pretty much have to have Slayer in position to try to save anybody. Does he? He has. Does he have a point in Grave? I know we've seen a lot of like the four points in Poison kind of builds here. So I'm not too sure if he does have it just yet. But he will have to be in position to save people because they can't actually farm lanes safely at all on the side of No Pangolier. They have to jungle, and that's not good when you have to jungle with your cores in this at this early a moment in time. Well, 15 minutes coming around soon, those bounties. Another D ward, right? Sl I mean, Slayer's been, this whole tournament, I think this man has D warded the most wards at this tournament by a long shot. I wish I, wish I could have a good number for myself there. So bounties, 15 seconds. The VP is already preparing, as is no Pangolier. Ramsey has the Demon Edge. Oh, and I a like Chrono. It. Yeah, he's, he's ready to go for this. Keep himself safe, though. A little spooked about the Dazzle placement. It's bottom lane, Roger. He's in as well with Pashas. They have the stun control onto Zayat. Zayat will lay down the ultimate. Does hit the two of them, but he will fall. Same time up top. They do get the kill on Solo. Once again, poor old Solo. This is his... I mean, it's Solo. He, he's really just trying to get wards down, but Slayer's reading the movements because of all the... I mean, it, but it's not giving anything. It's this Bane who's 1,600 net worth. It's an AK gold advantage, right? And it's not only just an AK gold advantage, it's a full Aghanim Scepter with Treads double null at 15, 15 minutes. minutes. Woof, woof, woof. What level is he? Is he at level 13 or 14 already on oh. this Invoker 2? 13! Oh dear. So that's a... That's like a majority of the Weaver's health pool with just a Sunstrike. It's like 600 yeah. damage. Pure damage. Well, they get tier 1 tower top, no Pangale. Do have that good push with the Familiars and with the Siege Creek. But as for taking a team fight, they are need numbers in order to win a fight versus this VP draft. There is no Chronosphere available just yet. Oh, solo. A grip. He's going to get cancelled. Yeah, that's, that's not going to work out. Solo offering up his life yet again. He's going to self nightmare. But uh, he will still go down. Goes to quit with the time lapse to keep himself away from any sort of potential Chrono or Black Hole. Roger's committing forward too. They're spotting him. He blinked forward aggressively. And he's been seen. It's time with the two-man avalanche, slowing down the bow for the Bugo. Six still with the Shikuchi ready to follow. No one is there on the high ground. Oh, so we can't chase any further. That could have been real scary position for them to walk up into. And a full Battle Fury is finished up for the Void. So he is not only already ahead of the Terror Blade, yeah. but he has a Battle Fury already to be able to match, if not outpace, this farm of the TB. Oh, absolutely. As now, I think it's a Crimson Guard 2 picked up for for Pasha, they, we could just see them go for a rush soon. When they've got their Chronosphere available, VP can just waltz into that one. They have, they're have they going to be way too durable. There's, the damage is going to be so lacking for Mel Pangolier when there is that Crimson Guard finished. 
I think that the real thing that we're going to see this game is basically how broken is Terrorblade. You know, can <laughs> Terrorblade win this game? The thing is, he's versus heroes that are pretty good versus TB. Chrono, Sphere, Puss, Invoker. If Invoker gets early level 20, he gets a Chrono. Cataclysm. Cataclysm is going to kill pretty much anybody who's stuck inside that Chronosphere immediately. As the Black Hole just immediately used and he's dead before the Grave comes out. Yeah, there's no saving time for Slayer. As that will easily get them the kill onto Ghost Stick. They are diving in a little bit, no Pangolin Singer. They can find something in response. Nightmare's going to be there onto Pasha. Yes, but it does still come through and with the Familiars. They get the kill onto Pasha, but Sailor he took his own hero in deep as well, so loses his life. Three heroes dead. Ramsey's toss forward by Roger, punches down the Elder Titan. As VP find four heroes, only losing Pasha's Enigma. 10, 11k gold lead, 16 to 10, 18 minutes in. I think we can just safely say it was, it was nice that we did have the two close games that we did. Yeah. Because this game... This is looking like how potentially, I imagine, you know, sort of the, the VP fans and people that know the team would have assumed this series would look like coming into this grand finals, as this is Virtus Pro destroying their stuff and no Pangalier struggling to keep up. Yep. And Roger can literally set up for kills at any moment in time with Sunstrike. He doesn't even need it there. He's level 13. He kills Ghost Sticks Weaver. That's a core Weaver versus a support Tiny that just gets killed by himself, not even needing the Sunstrike. He can do that to anybody on the map. With the Sunstrike, anybody is dead. Even the 1600 HP Elder Titan will probably die to that combo. With the Sunstrike, of course. I mean, what what do you think was sort of the, like, why are we seeing this game go south so quickly compared to game one and game two? Is it really because of the fact that you, you really just had this mid lane matchup, you're sending Sailor at mid, on the Visage, he's not going to stand the chance against no one's Invoker. I mean, he just got, can't do that. Or? They also got just heroes that they're incredibly strong on. Roger's Tiny yeah. has been incredible this entire tournament. Solo's Bane is a thing always to be reckoned with. They have good lanes. Actually, they have incredible lanes, and then they have incredibly strong mid-game team fight. And no Pangolier just from start to finish have been, you can say, some outplay, sure, because of just the, the skill of VP. But yeah, I mean, it's just been quite a display. It's it's crazy. I'm going to tier two tower mid. So a little bit of fortune tier two. and uh, sorry, tier one. I was like, whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> that was, a tier that was two. quick. A tier one. 13k gold lead. They've got their ultis pretty much up. Black hole still not up yet, but Bounty Rune's going to be coming out. We see the smoke coming up. They're already trying to set up for it. We see three heroes running top. Ramsey's not wanting to jump up aggressively since they did do that scan up on the high ground. Not playing too crazy. Just so much map control. Roger has all the freedom in the world to just look for kill after kill after kill. They really do just have so much wombo combo on versus pros lineup. Blink, Agonims. Oh boy. He's not quite gonna catch him there. Tornado, only level two wax. But now they are grouped up around that mid lane. Radiance middle tower is under attack. 14,000 gold lead at 20. This is... Just, just BP. Mid lane, here they come. They will take themselves a tier two tower away from No Pangolier. No Pangolier. They're going high ground. They're pushing top, but they are absolutely going to have to head back for this defense. There's so much team fight on VP. Look at that alacrity siege just chunking down that tower. What do you do to stop this? The tier three tower already taken 21 minutes. In by VP. As Naive will find the tier two tower up on top, and he's going to start to move towards the base. But middle lane, Ramses is. With Look at the, the help Siege of Pasha, creep. found the range creep, range barracks. The siege creep actually just doing like an eighth of the racks per hit or so. And keep the melee racks alive. Ramses backs up to clear out the top lane. So VP giving them a little bit of breathing space. No Pangolin. I mean, they, they just just—they forced everybody back, and they I, they still got at least one of the Raxes as they draw the line oh, down no, bottom. Oh, no, He's dead. Again, Sunstrike unnecessary. Got the range creep with the Sunstrike. Oh, there we go. There just getting these kills far too easily, Roger. 
He's, he's just absolutely massive. What is it, level 14 tiny or something? And everybody, his co some of the cores in the game are still level 14, even on the side of VP. Having a unbelievable game. He is higher than oh, everybody else on the lane. team of Nopango and the Grave. Oh, they get the Sunder. They can get a kill maybe in return as Roger. It's going to be focused here. Do they have detection for they do the illusion? We'll get him, but Ramses comes in with the four man chronosphere. They'll get one kill off the back of that, and it is the one they wanted. Naive's Terror Blade. The bomb Pasha. sort of potential threat. He's looking at it. Oh, oh, right. I'll take the two of them, but instantly does get cancelled by the familiar drop down. Doesn't matter though, because VP, they'll still get the kill onto the Dazzle. Ghost Sticks trying for solo. Solo has got the Crimson Guard. He's teeping out as well. Won't make it. This mid lane sailor getting chased down by Ramses. He's got time warp back up in a couple of seconds. He'll be able to go for this kill as he's just taunting he's him. taunting him. Chasing oh, him. Sun strike. Oh. oh, okay. He's okay. got the Gravekeeper's Club, so it doesn't do as much damage <laughs> as normal, but. We're still just taunting him, Ramses. Oh, my oh, God. You have to call GG here. It's like. That, that's just bullying. But we love it. I mean, they still have their outer towers up, but it's a, it's a 20,000 gold lead. 23 yeah. minutes. This is just VP putting on their oh. comf comfort display. Yeah, mid set of racks. I think you know, they're gonna keep. They're gonna keep trying it. But as for a comeback, it's not gonna be in this game, Owen. No, it's definitely one of those games where you bring up the Dota Plus. It would be at least ninety nine percent. Don't see even a hundred percent at this point as they do not have the means to get back in. Unless uh, unless we see some crazy stuff happen from VP in uh, terms of messing up. But I still, I, they have, they the, they have the trap that's so good in the, in the later stages too, yeah. right? It's, and it's easier to execute. It, when does it get better? But no, but it just, it, yeah. it does not with the heroes. You gotta go for plays like this. Go for the rush. This, yeah, this is the, this the, the last effort. If they yeah. die here, that's that's gotta be it. And Whoa. Ramses, Ooh. he's, he's walking Ramses. here. He's got Manta style he's, too. He sees him. Oh no, oh. He sees them. He's he knows weaved. what's up. He's going to have Chronosphere back up in 15 seconds. Jump forward from Roger because the two man Avalanche toss. Now it's their place around the map that they're controlling. VP around the pit. Grave will come out onto Sailor. Ramses jumps into the back lines with the time lock. Beats down the Dazzle. Takes out the Visage as well. Zayat's getting punched into by Roger. The Chronosphere there from Ramses to lock down Naive as they'll surround the Terra Blade. Naive. He'll slowly die. Solo goes for the Nightmare and the right clicks. He wants to claim this one for himself. Is he going to get it? He get missed. It? Oh. oh, okay. He's dead. They call. There That's we go. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, coming. Virtus Pro. They are your grand champions here at the main cast Autumn Brawl. And this game three certainly showed that there is no doubt that they were, by all means, the best team here at this LAN. No questions asked whatsoever. Virtus Pro, their first showing coming back into the game with the full five-man lineup since TI. And they're looking just as good, maybe if not even better, than they did last season. This is Virtus Pro continuing to be at the top of their game and not being challenged at all. And looking really good in the dual lanes, right? I think that's probably one of the things people were critiquing a little bit about VP at, at TI. Yeah, they, sure. were, they were struggling a bit to adapt to these dual lanes. Roger wasn't like having the performance that he did in the whole entire year because he was amazing the whole year. But now... This tiny performance, time and time again, he's just been crushing it. And they get so many comfort heroes, right? They've got their Invoker, their Enigma, their Tiny. They just, they cruise it in this it, game. It was, that, that game was basically like a show reel for them. It was like, hey, well, we've already won so this title. We'll just show you what we're best at. So we pretty much, you know, scare every other team out there that's watching that's, that's going to have to deal with this team going into the future tournaments here. But there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Virtus Pro, your main cast, Autumn Brawl champions, taking away the top spot, the top prize here. And uh, what a fantastic showing it has been from them throughout the last few days. But that is it from myself and Fogs as we bid you adieu. Thank you very much for watching. 3-0 to zero, VP undisputed champions here at the main cast show as we'll send you back to the panel for some post game to wrap up this fantastic weekend.